Hey everybody and you're very welcome to this preview video. Today we're checking out the CH47D, currently in development by Miltech Simulations. Now Miltech are the guys who brought us the Osprey, the Carrier Operations and a handful of other add-ons for Microsoft Flight Sim. As you can see the aircraft mimics that of the Boeing Chinook. It's a massive heavy lift utility aircraft. Primarily seen in military operations, you call We Haul. This tandem rotor and when Sim Update 15 releases, but the flight model will get a tweak to reflect the new changes. Looking at the aircraft from the modeling, the texture work, PBR, everything here looks very, very good indeed. The aircraft on release, it's available for both Xbox and PC, priced in and around 36 bucks. It'll feature 14 different liveries. The system simulation, there's a lot going on here. Advanced avionics, we also have this incredible EFB that gives us all our options. The aircraft really stands out when it comes to its loading. We can have internal and also external loading capabilities that uses the hoist or a sling so we can tow stuff around this virtual skies. Moving into the interior, again you can see that high level of detail, it's replicated on the inside. And then we move into the cockpit, I gotta say the instruments, they're very sharp, everything looks spot on here, it's a great immersive experience. So what we're going to do, we're going to hop in, try and fly it and see what happens. So with our APU up and running, we're going to go ahead and tackle the engines. So let's have a look here. We're going to put the condition levers into ground and we want to do a start on the main engine. Let's have a listen. Very nice indeed. Okay, we'll do a start up on the second engine. So we can see our oil pressure starting to build. RPM will come up as well, as will our engine torque. Okay, so we're going to disengage the parking brake and by just adding in a small bit of collective and push the nose forward, we can ground taxi the aircraft very easily. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to take off, fly around the area, and uh, let's see what trouble we can get ourselves into. So, we're collective in. So what we're going to have a quick look next, let's check out the night lighting. So we're just going to bring the time of day down to night and look at the view we have. Look at the lighting. This beautiful blue light coming off the main landing lights and then we have this beautiful green inside. The night lighting in here, it's done really well. It's very immersive. Okay, next up we're going to check out this external loading. So we're going to go to... Let me see, let's go grab a UAV, right? So we're going to click on that, 
We can see this new target reticle up here. It's almost like a radar, and it's telling us that we need to use the tandem hook. So we're going to come on up here. We're going to select tandem. We're going to put the controls into the pilot. Okay, so we can see with this little icon that our target is over on our left-hand side. So using a bit of Toby eye here, let's see if we get a visual from inside the aircraft. Failing that, we can uh, go external. Ah, there it is, right there. Just below us. So what we need to do here, we need to get ourselves into position to be able to pick up the cargo. So let's see what happens. So we have a target height. We need to be down at around 30 feet. We've got to move ourselves in closer to the target area. Place your bets now. <laughs> How many times will it take me to get this? <laughs> okay, so easy does it. There's the 30 feet. And we just need to edge ourselves forward a little bit. And once the target comes inside that green area, once we hold the aircraft steady, we should be good. So keep steady. Hooked. We're going to add in some power. Now the aircraft reacts to the weight. It now takes a whole lot of collective to get this thing airborne again. Let's have a look external. There we go. So as we head back out towards the airport, it's also worth noting we also have a hoist area. So we're just using the slings at the moment. If we have a look outside, you can see that these are the sling points on the aircraft. But it also features a hoist, right? So if we go back to where our doors are, we can see that we can open our hoist. And this is all animated. We can check this out from the back of the aircraft. See the platform starting to open now. And underneath, it's all animated. You'll see the hoist coming on out. For this cargo though, we don't need it. So we're gonna head back up towards the airport. And let's see, can we gently put our cargo down? There we go. We have successfully dropped off the, uh, the UAV. And let's ramble back over for a full stop. And touchdown. So, parking brake engaged. You can see our cargo, it stays there for us. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? So from our view here, we can see we've safely put down the chopper. So from the view here, chopper safely on the ground. And we also have our cargo located here as well. You can just imagine the fun you're going to have with this add-on once it's released. I mean, this in itself, it's, it's I want to say it's like an art form, but like this takes a lot of getting used to. You know what I mean? It's a lot of fun. It's challenging and flying that massive helicopter, doing all of this in calm weather. Well, that's relatively easy. I mean, you throw a bit of wind in on this you're definitely going to have a great challenge to look forward to. So the CH-47D, currently in development for Microsoft Flight Simulator by Miltech Simulations. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do let me know in the comment section below what you think. If you liked it, do be sure to hit the old like button. And until the next time, you take care.